do have a comedy show, Divorce the Musical, and you guys aren't getting divorced now. So what was he like when he said, I've written this show all about us? Well, it's not all about us. The show's about Dad. Oh, really? So can you tell me a bit about it? The show is, it's really, it's, I wanted it to be so uplifting that people walk out like laugh crying. Yeah. And they are. Yeah. I think, it's good. I think um, this show is about, ultimately this separation has been a really good thing because I've learned about the depths of my personal strength. I've learned about my flaws and how to, to work on them. Yeah. It's brought me closer to my family, to my dad especially. Yeah. Um, it's made Scott and mine's relationship ultimately more honest. It's brought my girls and I closer together. Um, it's made me want to be a better mother. So this show, there's nothing bitter. Scott doesn't even really get a mention. It's all about the lessons I learned. Whenever I do comedy or anything, I try to not bring other people into it. Yeah, right. Because comedy is quite new to you, like yeah. doing stand-up comedy. Yeah, I, had my first, I did my first Melbourne Comedy Festival last year. Yeah. I started Did you shit yourself? Like mm. nothing would make me more scared than going, I'm going to... Sing, make you laugh, gonna dance. Were well, you just like, yeah, this is awesome. This is me. Mm. Really? Mm. I really love it. Yeah, right. I really love being on stage. I love singing. It's kind of, I guess, it's what I mainly do. Mm. The comedy. Well, I'm constantly surrounded by comedians, and mm. I would always see them and go, "You're not putting in any effort. Yeah, you're wearing a checkered shirt, and you've got a glass of water on a stool. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put on a show." Yeah. So I'm not a, I don't write punchlines. I'm not, I'm not a, you know, I don't write gags. I just tell stories and yeah. put the appropriate music to them and present it in that way. And, but I started the stand up at 32. I took up, Janice Scott took up stand up at 32. Yeah, right. So I take comfort in that all the time. Yeah. Um, I think it's a hugely courageous thing to do. I think it makes sense for women everywhere to think about that because well, yeah, but I know it was a 20-year-old well, girl. Oh, do you mean up. to start your think, career at 32? Yeah, I think, oh, I've lost the deck room cushion. I think, <laughs> for me, I couldn't have done stand-up in my 20s like a lot of girls do because I took myself too seriously. Yeah, right. There's no way I would have got on stage and talk about having hairy nipples like I do. Yeah. You know, like, now. <laughs> How many? I call them boobs, <laughs> boob pips. Like, dude. Oh, my God. Scotty must really be into you. He's never seen them because I pluck the buses out. And the best time to do it is when you get in the shower because they're on the end. But most girls, you know what, that's the one thing I've never let him see. And I have, like, we have no, you know, you've been with Sam. Yeah, I won't poo in front of him. Oh, no. That's where I will not. I think that's gross. No toileting, full stop. Yeah. we At the beginning, I'd wee, but I agree. Now I'm like, no, I want to go in and do my magic things and come out and be. I don't, no bathroom in front of him. I don't, I don't care if people are judging me right now. Do you fart in front of him? No. Nah. I've never farted in front of him in 14 years. I've Shut never. up. I would have the worst stomach aches if I didn't do that. Yeah, I don't know. Just for me, I have never done that in front of him. That's the one thing. That, and the boob pits. Yeah. No, no, don't pluck him. Yeah. In the sh- I just, you look at that. Gone. Gone. But yeah, full on.